The one poster that my group was involved in um, uh, was led by uh, an investigator or a physician named uh, Dr. Chrissy Kim from Winnipeg. Um, and it was a joint effort across Canada. Uh, over the last couple of years, uh, we've established what we called a, a pancreas um, cord consortium. So cord stands for cancer outcomes, um, sort of cancer health outcomes research database consortium. Uh, and the idea here was to um, uh, join forces and join efforts and pull data together uh, to study rare tumors and, and pancreas tumor is uh, an example of that. Um, so for this study we were able to join um, or merge data from both three or four different centers across Canada. Uh, we got over several hundred patients uh, and we were really interested in looking at predictors of long-term survivors because anecdotally we all have patients who do actually quite well, surprisingly well, uh, despite having um, a very poor prognosis diagnostic uh, tumor, uh, pancreas cancer, um, and, and Chrissy Kim was really interested in looking at what well, are there factors that predict uh, these long-term survivors because if we know ahead of time that they'll do well, uh, we might alter or modify their treatment uh, approach. Um, so in this analysis, what we found was that there are the usual suspects that were predictive of uh, long-term survival, and long-term survival was defined as those who live beyond a year or 18 months from their initial diagnosis. Um, so we found that, you know, younger age, for example, um, people do a bit better. Uh, people who have good fitness before they get treatment also do a bit better. Uh, a bit better. Uh, and we also found some um, blood parameters that also predicted for long-term outcomes. So, so moving forward, we're hoping to uh, hopefully divide what we call a prognostic scoring system so that again by using this prognostic score we can hopefully predict a priori who does well who does not do well because that might stratify them for us a bit better and allow us to decide ahead of time should they go on a clinical trial should they get standard therapy or should they uh, go to best supportive care because right now we kind of do a gestalt we you know you know we look at the patient we assess them and you know we all have our um, different approaches to gauge how well they do and based on that we give them their respective therapies uh, but with prognostic scoring system the hope is that we'll be more objective uh, and be better able to accurately predict how they do so um, that's the next step so this was a bit of, bit of foundational work to look at what the predictors are uh, and now we're hoping to 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 standardize it and maybe generate a score so that people can use it in clinic